Okay. Have you ever seriously struggled with your mental health? I, I think I've always struggled with my mental health. Yes, I can actually say that I have. It was just recently, a few months ago. Um, it seemed like the weight of the world was just falling down on me. I have in multiple occasions. I suffered with my mental health in forms of anxiety and depression. Yeah, I have, especially in recent years because of all the stress of school. I probably wasn't diagnosed soon enough, but um, I have depression. So, you know, I have been on an antidepressant probably now since I was 30, you know, in my 50s now, I find that I still, I still need to take it and be you know, aware of the things that are my triggers. Do you feel that it's important to have someone to talk to when you're struggling? Yes. Yeah, of course. I have my family and friends. Yeah. A lot of the times, the people that would help me the most were friends my age. Yes, I would say yes. And, you know, not only just having that somebody to talk to, but having a support system um, and also having different resources um, to be able to help you go through whatever you may be going through. We just want to ask you, do you personally have a smartphone? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I just got the new one, the 13. I have an iPhone 7. Nice. I do. I do have a smartphone. What if there was an app that connected you with both approved mentors and fellow peers you could open up to about your struggles? I think that'd be really convenient and beneficial for my mental health. I think that would be a great, a great idea. If I had, you know, an issue or a struggle and, you know, my therapist wasn't available or my friends weren't available. That's something that we need um, because we always think that we're going through things by ourselves. But guess what? Other people have probably went through the same thing. I think that would be really incredible, actually. Sometimes I've even talked to like suicide hotlines and sometimes it takes a while for them to like respond back to you. A lot of the times the main thing that's so difficult for people dealing with mental health problems is finding people who you can connect to. I'm glad that you, that, that sounds like a good idea to you because that is exactly what we're going to do. Hi, my name is Chad Jordan and I'm the researcher for Team Udai. Mental health is important to us for a multitude of reasons. As youth who have grown up witnessing individuals who have been affected by poor mental health, and as youth who have personally struggled with our own mental health, we believe that mental health is a crucial topic that should be taken with the utmost concern. Hi, my name is Alexis and I'm the budget manager for the Udai app. Today I'll be talking about why my team and I have decided to make Udai a free application. By making Udai a digital app, we are expanding the number of potential users and making it available to a more diverse group because more and more people are using mobile devices. The Udai app will also make our safe space not only more accessible, but more approachable for a growing number of digital users. Hi. My name is Yuwande and I am the lead developer of Udai. Mental health problems aren't something that can be assessed on the outside, so it truly is an internal struggle and it's something that we often go through alone. Udai aims to end this isolation by connecting people with others that can help them sort through their issues in a positive way. Connection, speaking with others, that human interaction is a super weapon and it might just be the way to end society's mental health crisis. So. Are you human?